Today we are going to discuss trigonometric integrals, which happen to be interesting in some people's opinion. I never found the Backstreet Boys interesting. I always thought their music was mediocre. I find it interesting. Well, I would find it interesting if you were to simmer down like a fire being extinguished. So, do so. And simmer down. To do trigonometric integrals, you need to know the following identities. That sine squared equals 1 minus cosine squared. That cosine squared equals 1 minus sine squared. And... And when you find out that m and n are even, and you will find out what m and n are shortly, you will insert 1 minus cosine 2x over 2 for sine squared, and 1 plus cosine 2x over 2 for cosine squared. I disagree. Why is that? Shaq, you said it cosine. I do not see anyone presently signing a document of importance. Steve, your math is about as useful as December 21st, 2012. Please eradicate your math theories from this room before you poison the well of knowledge. Now, we begin trigonometric integrals with the integral of sine to the m, x, and then cosine to the n of x dx. m and n are integers, and they must not be negative. And there's three cases. If m is odd, and n is even, then you will use 1 minus cosine squared to replace sine squared. As you can see, this problem started out with the integral of sine to the third power x cosine to the second power x dx. And you can see that a sine of x dx appears, and this never changes. I could have sine to the seventh power x, cosine to the second power x, and it'll become sine to the sixth power x, cosine to the second power x, and then sine x dx at the end. So you do the original problem out. You insert 1 minus cosine squared into the newly formed sine squared of x, and for sine of x dx, you insert minus d cosine of x. You continue doing the problem out now. Uh, you can replace the with cosine temporarily to make things easier. Just remember that u equals cosine, and you'll eventually come up with the answer, and everything will be dandy. Of course, you can have the second case come up where m is even and n is odd, and when that happens, you pretty much solve it the same way, except for the fact that when you get to the point where you have, say, cosine squared of x, then cosine of x dx, as in this problem, you replace cosine of x dx with d sine of x, and... And you continue solving it like you would case one problem. The third case is more simple, where m and n are even. And all you do is, for sine squared of x, you replace it with 1 minus cosine 2x over 2, and for cosine squared of x, you do 1 plus cosine 2x over 2, and then you just solve, like you would a normal integral. 